made you. He didn't make 500 yeah. Kylie yeah. Jenner's or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, he made exactly. you. Because yeah. you're unique and special. Yeah. Kylie yeah. Jenner's awesome too. But... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today it's a women's only episode. We're talking about um, comparison. So I feel like this is the thing I struggle the most in my young adult life currently. How about you guys? Do you guys struggle with that? For sure. If my eyes are not on Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's something cool that I've kind of started to do recently is like, one, getting into the word and really knowing who God says you are as mm -hmm. an individual child of his. And then two, like out loud saying those things to yourself in a mirror. I like my hair. I like my haircuts. I like my pajamas. I like my stuff. I can do anything good. Yeah, 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 yeah. When like you start having those thoughts, just, mm -hmm. I personally will just be like, no, I'm a child of God. He made me. He made me talented. I can sing. I can whatever. Mm -hmm. and like, it's not like a prideful thing. It's just like mm -hmm. reminding yourself because God wants you to know that you are talented. You yeah. are priceless. You know, there's no one to compare you to. He gave you gifts and talents and he made you who you are yeah. for a reason. And I think like the things on social media, everyone projects the best part of their life. Yeah, highlight so, reels. Yeah, yeah, highlight reel. So they have those filters, they have, you know, their best clothes on that day, and it makes you, like, you know, want that right if you're not in that God mindset. Is comparis comparing yourself always a bad thing? Maybe you look up to a mentor or something. How about for you guys? Is it always a bad thing in your life? I think it's good to, you know, want to continue to grow and strive to be the best you that you can be. Um, so, no, I don't think that it's bad to compare yourself to a point I mean, like the bible calls us to walk like jesus walked so in a way like we are supposed to compare our lives to how jesus lives his life. sure. that's really the only person you should be comparing yeah, your yeah lives he's to. like the <laughs> biggest the best example yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i think like looking up to people is also different than like comparing yourself mm -hmm. if you're looking up to them like you you respect them you you are you're learning things from their life and stuff but you're not like well my life looks like this their life looks like this why is my life like this it should be like theirs yeah. and then it can just be messy pretty much if comparison leads like where does that lead to does it le lead to yeah. coveting does it lead to greed i know that for me like on if i'm on social media i can quickly go down that spiral yeah. like i start to want other things that other people want their adventures they're going on all those things yeah. um and that can lead to greed so like really guarding your heart against that and like uh, like putting on the full armor of god every morning to like protect yourself against yeah. those feelings yeah, there have definitely been times in my life where I've noticed, like, I get so wrapped up in watching other people's YouTube channels or mm -hmm. following people on Instagram and just seeing the things that they're posting and talking about and the fun things that they're doing or the new clothes that they got or whatever. And I'm just like, I recognize myself that, like, I start to go shopping more mm -hmm. or like I like start mm -hmm. daydreaming about planning trips which there's nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that to a point but then but it's like but why are you doing that are you trying mm -hmm. to fill something in your life that you know can't be filled by things it only needs to be filled by God and so yeah yeah you're start you're filling that void and that becomes your idol then like yeah, that's yeah. what I tend to struggle with and I don't want to struggle with that. Yeah. So that brings me to the question, um, how do we guard our hearts against comparison, against the, the bad side of comparison? Um, I know that you said, Savannah, you went on a Facebook and Instagram fast for yeah. eight months. Yeah, all it was like all of social media, even secular music, even like TV. Eight months total from like all social media. Oh wait, like I yeah. felt like God told me to delete it and I like cried. I like I was like I hear your voice God like that's mm -hmm. how I felt. I was like and I'll do it and then I did and that really helped. And the one thing that like I learned from that was I can't control everything that I see at all times. I can only control how I allow it to affect me. Mm -hmm. So I used to like resent people for posting things. Like why would they post that? That's like they're being too sleazy or whatever. They're making what don't they care about how they're making other people feel? And, like, it's not my job to, like, judge people's intentions on why they do things or how far is too far is what people post. Like, whatever. I'm not the judge of everyone's life. But, like, the only thing I can control is how I allow it to affect me. So, 
you know, if you need to unfollow people, unfollow people. If you need yeah. to take a break from social media, take a break. And, like, this goes to say, like, I don't think we should go live in a cave and never turn on Instagram yeah. again. Like, I think social media can be such a positive tool. Like, that's why we all have mm-hmm. YouTube channels, and we want to use it for the glory of God. Yeah. And I'm so inspired by your guys' channels and the way you post on social <laughs> media. It's just... It's super positive. So maybe like thinking about how you post on social media. Is it uplifting? Mm -hmm. Is it positive? Yeah, like renewing your mind. Like it's not just like you read what the Bible says and you don't believe it for the rest of your life. You have to renew your mind. Like continually reading that, you will begin to believe it because the word of God is like a seed and it goes into your heart and eventually it will produce fruit in your life. Mm -hmm. And so it might not, you might not feel it right away and you might not believe it, but keep reading it and keep your eyes fixed on Jesus because there will be a transformation of how, of your thoughts and how you see yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, And I would say, (laughs) 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 I would say that keep in mind that when you're looking at someone's life, there is such a thing as conviction. You might, you know, be watching a YouTube video and they might be talking about something and you yeah, might feel true. convicted and or mm-hmm. or condemned. But just like remember that Satan condemns and mm-hmm. the Lord convicts mm-hmm. and you compare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <For sure>. yeah. <laughs> and so just remember that, you know, it's it is okay to in a way compare mm-hmm. but if you start feeling condemned for the way that you are living because you're not living like that person's living, that's not from God. That's not from you. Like that's from Satan. Yeah. And you can fight that with the Lord's word, with your authority in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, God wants you to be your authentic self. Like if you're trying to live a life like others, that's not pleasing to God. You're not. Yeah. Um, you're not acting in the way God wants you to live your life, yeah. being your own personal, your own personality and, and yeah, things like he that. He made you. Yeah. He, he didn't, you know, he, he, he didn't make 500 yeah. kind yeah. of genders or whatever. Like, he yeah, made exactly. you. Because yeah. yeah. you're exactly. unique and special, so you matter. Yeah. Yeah, Kylie sure. Jenner is awesome too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did some amazing videos yesterday on Savannah's channel. A link right here. We did about how you are a daughter of God. Paul Morgan's channel. A link right here about self-image and really finding that identity in God. Comment below on one comparison you have had to overcome in your life. But until next time, I'm that Christian vlogger, and I encourage you to experience faith in the first person. God bless.